Hello everyone, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie and today I have a um, product review of this light pad that was sent to me and it came it has a light pad with a toolkit. I'm also using a, a product that I'm testing out and it's a microphone. It's a lapel microphone so um, you might need to turn your volume down, I'm not sure, because I did a, a test video before this and it seemed kind of loud to me. I'm not used to having the microphone right close to my mouth. Well, I mean, it's not like in my mouth, it's clipped onto my shirt, but um, I just wanna make sure everybody is comfortable in listening to the video, so. Um, here we go. I will hopefully get it right if it, if there's set, I didn't see any settings. It's just something I plugged into my phone and, um, yeah, so I hope it's okay and I hope everyone can hear me just fine and I'm not too loud. All right. So this, um, uh, light pad is on Amazon. Oops. Let me see here. One moment. It is sold by um, the name Kiria, K-E-R-I-A. And I'm guessing the store name is called Lucky E because that's who it says it's sold by. But I will put a link um, to it down below. And this one is $22.99. And they do have them in stock right now. So let's just take a look at it first. All right. And now this does come with or without um, the toolkit. And we'll look at what's in this here in a moment. And they also have a larger light pad, and uh, I do believe they said an A5. And this is an A4. Oh, and there's some clips that it comes with. Here's the clips. Now it's got the instructions, but we know how to use it. Um, yeah. And it does have uh, adjustable brightness. So let's get it opened and look. Well, let's look at the tools real quick. This comes with the- There's no incoming call. Thank you. I wasn't talking to you. Okay, so this does come with the um, small green boat. It comes with some wax too. It, it comes with two pins with the three, three drill placer. And it has two of these cushiony grips. I like that. These are really soft. I'm going to probably actually have to put those on one of my other pins that I don't have the homemade grippy that I have. Yeah, I like that. All right, so let's look at the light pad. Now, it comes with its own cord. I, I have my own, I have a heavy duty cord that I keep plugged into my computer that I use um, all the time because I, run, I, I use it for several different things because I only have so many ports and I have them all being used for stuff. But this cord is nice and long. It's, uh, let's see if the box says here in the instructions, it says four feet. No, A4FT. 
Um, okay, it says other sizes. They have B5, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0, etc. Their company may also make to order according to the visitor request for larger quantity. Okay, so this is the company itself. I don't know that the seller on Amazon has all these sizes, but they do have the other... Uh, let's see here. Real quick. Yeah, they have an A3. Sorry, not A5. So I'm guessing the bigger the number, the smaller the area. I'm not sure. But it does say they have the A3. So they don't offer it without the tool kit. It's either the tool kit or the A3 size. Okay, so we were looking to see how long the cord is. It does not say on this paper. So, but it is pretty long. It, let's see, compare it to the other cord that I use. It's much longer. The other cord I use is pretty short, but yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's longer than what I, I need here, but normally if I'm in the living room, I will need something longer. So I'm gonna unplug my cord and I'm going to plug this one in to my laptop. And we'll plug it in right here. All right. It's a flat um, smooth surface on the back. It's got the, the, I think that's the glare reflection or something they call all the spots that the dots that they have on there, they call it, um, flicker free. I think that's what that's supposed to be. All right. So here we go with the testing. Wow. That's extremely, that's way brighter. And what my last one is. Now let me turn off autofocus because it's trying to focus on it. There we go. So there's that. Let me now you can see my you can see my ring light up here. And you can see my lamp that I have up here <laughs> reflected. And you can see the little deeny diny one right, you know, the other one from my camera. <laughs> Okay, I have a diamond painting here that I'm getting ready to kit up in my next drill with me. So let's put that on here and see what we see. All right. Well, you can't really see too much through the opaque cover, but let's pull it up and look with this pulled off. Wow. I can see really clearly. I mean, you think a light pad's a light pad, you know, maybe so, but this is really nice. I mean, I can read these symbols so clear enough to where I don't have to, you know, even bend in to try and view what they are. And I know that up in here, this was a, a, a troublesome area for me because of the symbols. So let's look at that. Here, let me let me zoom you in so you can see what I'm seeing. There we go. But now you're getting the glare. There, try and flatten it. So those gray symbols are the at symbol, the A with the circle around it. Uh, glare, glare, go away. So that's still, I think that's a fault in this printing because that's still hard to read, but those numbers, you can read those. Here we go, here's an area up above. You can distinguish the sixes. Trying to get out of the glare, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it comes with me. Yay. All right. So here we go. Come on. There we go.
Yeah, we can see really well through this. Now let's turn it off and see what it looks like. So there we go with it off. Those are the eights. And these white symbols here, I think those would be the ones that would be a little harder to read. Here we go, right in here. These right here. I mean, th this canvas is, is fairly clear anyway, so um, the lights just, you know, a light pad is what, what a light pad is for. It's to help you just see better. Let's check it on the first setting. There, okay, there's the first setting. Can't even really tell that it's on. Here, let me bring this up with it. Oh, that glare is just really ticking me off. Okay, so let's put it on the second setting. There's the second one. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. And then there's the third one. Wow. Such a huge difference. I like it. I, I mean, it, feel, it feels brighter to me than the one I'm using right now, but it, it could be just normal brightness, but I'm actually going to switch to this one. Just heard someone outside my door, my window. Oh, it must be Stephanie. She just got off work, so she's probably trying to spook me. She does that all the time. But, um, yeah, I think it's nice. And these, uh, let's see, these clips, these are like big paper clip. Here, let me zoom back out. Um, these are just like the, the big grippy clip. Um, and so that will work nicely with this, um, with the light pad because it's thick enough to hold it on. I actually kind of like these better than those the the really big ones because those are kind of hard to um, maneuver around on things. I, I like to use more than two clips anyway, so I like to actually have them at the bottom and on the side. And if you're interested in this painting, I'll link this down below as well. I I did a um, first impression on this not too long ago but I'll go ahead and link it again and you will be seeing a little bit more of this actually pretty soon coming up in my next video. All right guys so this is just um, my little review of this product. I do like it and you know of course as with any other product you know you have to use it for a while to get a a completely full review on something but I'm going to go ahead and use it and try it out and keep using it and give you updates if there's anything that changes on this product. But as for now, I, I give it five stars because I'm going to do a review on it on Amazon. And that's what I'm going to do is give it a five star rating because it is a nice little uh, light pad. And if you are really into diamond painting like me and you have eye issues like me, I definitely need a light pad. And it's nice to have a couple of them so that you are able to not have to carry it back and forth. And this is really lightweight, so it could easily slip into my um, project bag when I go places. Because even when I'm in the car, I will, uh, I have USB ports in my car. And I'm the I'm always a passenger, so even in the car, I w it would be nice to have one just for the car. So now I have definitely got one that I love, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to let you guys go, and I will see you in my next video. Little Miss Teslin just woke up, so. Talk to you later, guys. Have fun diamond painting, and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And let me know um, what you think about the microphone. If I, I don't know if there's anything I can do to change it, but just let me know if I need to s not talk as loud or if everything was fine with you being able to adjust your volume on your 
uh, computer or on Facebook or on YouTube since they do have a volume uh, switch down at the bottom on how loud the video is. So just just let me know. Um, like I said, I'm trying it out and I don't I've never used a microphone before that clips on my shirt, a lapel mic. So appreciate the feedback. See you later, guys. Bye.